Look at that. Look what I did. So I was uh, fitting something onto the tripod. Actually, I was trying to tighten this uh, at the end of my Gorilla Pod uh, with a screwdriver. And um, the screwdriver that I was using uh, was a little too small. The head was a little too small and it slipped. Uh, and the genius I was, I was holding it like this and it slipped. And I basically ended up stabbing myself with a screwdriver in my own hand. And there was blood. There was a lot of blood and it hurts. It hurts a lot. Uh, I've basically got a hole in my hand right now and it hurts um, massively, uh, but that's not what this video is actually gonna be about. This video is gonna be about this bad boy. This is, again, my favorite camera, the Canon EOS M50, uh, absolutely fantastic camera. And today I'm gonna show you how to use this jangly stuff is really annoying. I'm gonna show you how to use this guy for streaming using a capture card with unlimited runtime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that intro play while I go and cry because my hand hurts so much. And then I'll be back once I've dried away all those tears and then uh, tell you how to set this thing up. Oh, oh you, guys are, you guys are here already? Okay, yeah, just, it just hurts so much. I'm joking, it doesn't really hurt that much for me to cry over it. What's up everybody, this is Kai24, back to grace your screens with more tech advice and today I bring you, like I said, a tutorial on how to set up the Canon EOS M50 for streaming. Now I'm gonna get straight to it. The things that you are gonna need for this are the Canon EOS M50 with a memory card inside that is very very important you are not going to be recording with it whilst you're streaming obviously but you do need to have a memory card inside ideally you'll also need a dummy battery so that you can have unlimited runtime without the battery running out and a micro hdmi to hdmi cable you also need one of these which is a uh, hdmi capture card this is just a cheap one off amazon but if you guys have an elgato one lying around or an Ava media one or whatever kind of capture card you want to use by all means, use whatever you want, but I'm gonna be, for demonstration purposes, gonna be using, actually, I use this as well for my main kind of setup. So yeah, link to this will be in the description box below. And you will also need a micro USB cable. Links to all of the things that you're gonna need are gonna be in the description box below. Hopefully I will have uh, small animations pop up on the screen, uh, which, you know, around here or around here uh, to show you exactly what those items look like as well, just in case you don't know. The other thing you're gonna need to have installed on your PC is the EOS webcam utility. Now, just to clarify, you are not gonna be streaming through the EOS utility. There is a reason you need to have the EOS utility up and running. And um, I will explain all of that as I go through this tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your uh, camera has a memory card inside of it. Future me here, the reason you need a memory card very quickly i forgot to mention in the video uh, i did write it down though is because if you don't have a memory card you're gonna have a box on your screen showing up saying that please insert memory card at all times and you can't get rid of that unless you put a memory card in which is a bit annoying but you can just put in any old memory card that you've got lying around as long as it's an sd card it will do the job the camera will recognize it as a memory card and that box will disappear and you'll have your uh, new kind of uh, makeshift clean hdmi Get your memory card in, get your dummy battery hooked up. Now, before you power on your camera, this step is very, very important. What you wanna do is you wanna go and connect your micro USB cable to the camera, and then the other end should connect into your PC. Now, once you've done that, you wanna power on the camera, okay? Whilst it's connected, it should have alerted your PC that the camera is connected. And what you wanna do is you wanna go and open the Canon EOS utility app. Once you've opened the app, it should detect that your Canon camera, the Canon M50 camera is connected to the PC. From the options that it gives you at the beginning, what you wanna select is remote shooting. And that is all you need to do with the PC from the Canon EOS camera app. What this does is basically now that your PC is connected and detecting that you've got the Canon M50 app and you've got the remote PC, uh, sorry, the remote shooting uh, utility running, you can control all of the camera's uh, settings via that utility. And it just makes your life easier for you because it's up on a screen and you don't have to kind of reach around uh, wherever you've got this mounted um, to kind of set, change the setting. Now, the next step is to connect the HDMI cable to your capture card, plug in your capture card to your PC. Once you've plugged in your capture card to your PC, connect the micro HDMI end into the slot on your camera 
and by doing so what it will do is will now transfer the feed from the camera to your PC. So you can now open up something like OBS, transfer your feed in, so go into video sources, add as video source, find whichever video source, you should say something like USB video, um, add the video source that has your Canon on it, and that will allow you to use this as a webcam. However, you might see that you're still seeing kind of all of the uh, jargon on the screen, all of the kind of uh, settings display on the screen as well as your autofocus box. Um, because the camera doesn't have a native clean HDMI capability, you have to now manually turn that off. So what you wanna do is you wanna press uh, the info button uh, a few times, depending on where you are in your kind of display. So once you've hit the info button a couple of times, it should turn off everything else. Um, if you are still seeing the autofocus box, that means your camera is set to autofocus mode. So uh, you can just simply click that um, autofocus manual focus toggle, which is the kind of left arrow toggle on your uh, dial here at the back of the camera. So once you've hit that, it will turn it into manual focus mode and you should be able to get rid of that manual focus box uh, after a little while. You can just kind of press menu and then menu again and it will reset everything. And there you go, you've got a clean feed. What's up guys, future me here. Just a very quick thing that I wanted to add. When you guys plug in the HDMI cable, to the Canon M50, what will happen is that the screen on the Canon M50 will go blank. Don't worry, that is supposed to happen because what's happening is that because this camera doesn't have a clean HDMI feed, what you're getting is the feed from the camera is being directly inputted into your PC. So once you've got that utility app here open, what you can do is you can click live view shoot. So once you click on that live view shoot button on your utility app, it will give you a screen just like this one, um, which basically shows you what the Canon M50 should be seeing. And from here, you can actually adjust your settings uh, the way you want it to, as well as kind of viewing them in OBS. And as you can see here, it is clean HDMI. If I were to kind of toggle the info display, it would show up on this. However, what we can do is once you've done adjusting your settings, uh, you can close that. The feed will still feed through into the uh, into OBS and your camera will still be working. It's just that the screen on the camera doesn't seem to be on. Now, the reason you connected everything up to the PC via the micro uh, USB cable first is what that does is that keeps your camera awake. Now, the downside about the Canon M50 is that it has a 30 minute limit on it in terms of a how long it can record of it. A lot of cameras have that record limit, but also of how long it can stay on. No matter how you change the settings, the Canon M50 screen will turn off after 30 minutes. Now, if you've just got a HDMI cable connected to your uh, to the camera, when that screen turns off after 30 minutes, it also shuts off that HDMI feed. Connecting the micro USB cable uh, to the ca camera and the PC and opening up that utility app, the EOS utility app with the remote shooting utility basically allows you to bypass that, which means that it keeps the camera awake. I have used this thing to stream for several hours without it turning off and no problems whatsoever. And the best thing is if you want to use it and just kind of leave it up there as your webcam, then once you've got it all connected in this order, no matter how many times you turn off or on the camera and your PC and everything, it will stay like that. The settings will remain the same. All you will have to do to activate the HDMI on this is open the US utility app again and open up that remote shooting option. You don't necessarily have to open up the remote shooting app option, but the reason I do is because it also gives me a little bit more control of uh, the camera settings from my desktop. So it's just kind of a handy thing to have. You can just kind of ignore it or have to have it on, but as long as you've got the EOS utility app open, it will keep the camera alive and prevent it from shutting down. I hope that was useful to you guys, um, step by step, everything that I said. I will leave a link to everything that you need in the description box down below so that you can grab anything that you want uh, that you might not have. They are all gonna be Amazon associate links. So any of those items that you buy will get me a small percentage of commission and that will help out the channel massively. So hope that was useful. Hope that tutorial helps. This basically now lets you use your Canon M50 as a webcam for streaming, for Zoom calls, meetings, whatever you want to do. Um, it's very, very handy. And it, you know, I've been using it as kind of one of my primary webcams um, for ages now, and it has served me perfectly well. Yes, the manual focus thing is a little bit of a deal breaker. However, once you've kind of adjusted it and you know exactly where uh, to focus to, it, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, 
and that's all there is to it guys anyway whilst i go off now and uh cry about my hand again because it's hurting again because i've been slapping it around uh i will leave you guys to it if you guys did enjoy the video and thought it was useful do hit that like button if you enjoy my content in general then hit that subscribe button and if you want to know when my new videos are coming out then also hit that notification bell please it helps out the channel it's fantastic you guys watching my videos and until next time everybody a very in pain kai 24 signing out